This is BBC Radio 4. Now at a quarter to six, it's Farming Today with Anna Hill. Good morning. A processing company in the Lake District lands deals with China, which could help local farmers beat the dairy downturn. But he calls on the government to make more of British dairy abroad. A group of UK dairy businesses have just returned from a trade mission to China visiting the country's global food show, FHC. Farmers hope the companies will be able to open doors for products using British milk and help to diminish the effect of future volatility for dairy farmers. A one group which has an exclusive deal with China is Kendall Nutricare. They have the only British infant milk factory registered with the CNCA, China's National Accreditation Board. They're licensed to sell powdered infant formula made with British whole milk from local producers in the Lake District. And they've come home this week with their order book full. The chief executive, Ross McMahon, told me the UK government must make an effort to support more exports to China. The big thing I think the government need to do more is to promote the the British dairy industry because, you know, years ago there was a big setback with mad cow disease and I think it still lingers in the minds of the consumers in the Far East. So Does I think, it really? Yeah. That was a long time ago, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I think what we have to really encourage is the CCTV cameras to come and visit British farms and see the quality and the standards firsthand. And that is the best promotional material for the industry. You mean what, to be shown to consumers or to be shown to government ministers? I believe if the government could encourage the uh, TV channels in China to visit the country, to speak to the farmers, to visit the processors, for example, where we get our milk produced here, and uh, visit the facilities, that will um, give a big confidence boost to the consumers in China about British milk. How competitive is it out there? We know New Zealand deals a lot with China, that Frontera have a, a big deal with China, don't we? I mean, how competitive is it for companies like yours? Well, New Zealand has a free trade agreement with China, so Europe pays a 5% duty on entering the country. So we're at a 5% disadvantage, although logistically we're actually more competitive. But um, one of the things, the New Zealand government is very dependent on agriculture, and they are pushing now for pre-clearance of all container vessels. Before they leave New Zealand, they will have already passed through the customs. So this is something I would encourage the industry here to to request from the government. Ross McMahon there. And that's all from us this morning. I'm Anna Hill. The producer in Bristol is Beatrice Fenton.